Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 14 of Darwell20's Ocean Block series, uh, where I'm playing with Culinary Construct. Diarium. Uh, I decided to throw a bunch of random foods that I had laying around, all different ones, in here, and we're going to see how that works out. So that looks pretty cool. Culinarian, you know it, dude. I would say that that worked out pretty well. I like that food. I like it quite a bit. I don't like that it doesn't stack so well, but I like it nonetheless. Uh, so we're going to need more wheat. As you can see, I threw some in my in my farm down there. Now note that my harvester will harvest that wheat, so it's something we're going to have to be aware of. Uh, but it's all good. Uh, between episodes, I made myself a apprentice blood orb, which means that I should now be able to get uh, the, the, the stuff I need, the wooden paths, for, for, for what we want, right? Um, so that looks good. So now what we wanted to set up is some kind of fancy little area that'll make me feel all groovy, make me feel nice and cool. So we're gonna want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times four, 27 of these wooden paths, right? So blood magic path with my Apprentice Blood Orb. Now we might need more of this, by the way. I don't know how we are for wood, but uh, we'll find out. So that should be cool. And we're gonna go stick these paths right around this incense altar. Now, I don't know if this thing's, you know, it should be fine, right? One, two, three. Now, uh, Actually, we want it. We want the paths to start one block away from it, right? Because you want it on a three by three platform, and then the paths start after that. Cool. So it's one two three, one two one two one two, right? So one two three, one two one two. So you're a little bit close to our blood altar, not too much, because remember the blood altar goes downwards. So and because we can't craft obsidian. It actually looks like it comes up to right about here and then it's done. So any, so it's like, it's almost perfectly, you know, a little bit much, but we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now I wouldn't super mind an exchanging gadget, which will yield to having more diamonds, more diamond use, but exchangers are nice to have, right? I feel like an exchanger would be good. It would, I'm, you know, I'm just addicted to my, my, my gadgets. What can I say? Also, it's a quest, so meh. Yeah, we might be okay. Meh. I haven't, I've been, uh, I've been somewhat neglecting my power situation, but I'm having fun with mods. Mods that I haven't played with too much recently. Also, I don't know what happened to my time in a bottle, but I feel like I should have had more time than this. I don't think I used it for anything drastic recently. But I feel like I should have more time than I have in there. Yeah, that was a quest, by the way. Anything good from that? I got an enchanted book. I mean, that's not bad. Reaper 2. All right, it's not the most exciting enchanted book I've ever gotten as a quest reward, but yeah, that's cool. So you're going to boop, 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 boop. And see, when you make mistakes, you can fix them. Now what I should be able to do is bump the range up by one. And do something like this. Now I thought I had mathed out the proper number of these, didn't I? Oh, you know what? I counted for three sets, not four sets. There you go. Perfect. That works. Right? Now, what's your situation at, sir? You are still at plus 20 for your incense altering. Uh, but you've got your wooden paths. So that's nice. Tranquility bonus plus 20%. So it doesn't get better until I put things next to the wooden paths, right? Uh, let's get out our book here and see what kind of cool things we can put next to it. Um, at the most, it can be 60% currently. 
Once we get to stone paths, it can be 120, and then 200 and 300. Obsidian is not yet implemented, sadly. All right, well, at least we know that that's in there. Cool. Um, these are the things you can put down in order to add to tranquility. Dirt, farmland, potatoes, carrots, wheat, netherwort, beetroots, leaves, frogs, fire, grass. So let's get some potatoes, carrots, and wheat. Does that sound cool? Potatoes, carrots, and wheat. Uh, some dirt. And maybe some netherrack. I think fire was in there too, wasn't it? But I think for this low tier of it, it shouldn't matter too much. So where's vanilla seeds? We've got a few of them. I could probably go get more. Um, carrots? Yes, we have carrots. Ooh, I've got golden carrots. Are those just nuggets? Oh, that might be a good... Look how much saturation you get for those. That might be a good one to go with. But I'm pretty impressed by how awesome these... Uh, we got four sandwiches per craft. So that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, some dirt. I think we had netherrack on our list. Should be cool. Now, you are probably harvesting seeds for me. Yep. Thank you. All right. I'm going to exchange and gadget some dirt. I'm going to do this and this. And then we're going to have... You know what? I'm not going to put you there. I'm going to put you here because you're already next to the water. And then I don't have to worry too much about the whole water situation. Right? So if everything's working, you should already have a tranquility bonus. See, you're at 484 now. Now, if I plant some crops, that's going to make things even better. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Right, so you were actually potatoes, buddy, and you were carrots, and your seeds. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, the one bummer is that these things don't seem to stack. I'm not sure why, but that's okay. Life goes on. And I'm going to do that. Now our tranquility bonus should be capped at four, at 60%. I don't know why you exist, but you're getting removed. And then once we get to the stone blocks, we should be able to do even better. So that's cool by me. So we'll augment that as needed. But since we already hit the 60% cap and it was really easy to hit... I'm not going to lose too much sleep over stuff, but what I am going to do is cook up some potatoes because I like the idea of uh, maybe throwing some potatoes in our sandwiches at some point too. We'll see. Okay. So with you now at 60% bonus, right? And boom. That's not bad. And then I can clear out this stack of sandwiches and this should give me a lot better see how much better that is way better nice so our plan for today is to uh, is to do more blood magic that's the plan that's what I'm gonna do I'd like to get to tier 3 blood magic today I'd like to try the growth accelerator thing from blood magic if I can uh, and I'd like to um, augment some of the runes around the altar so that we can get some really good boosts so that's kind of the deal that i have set up Let, let's also get a chest to store all our blood magic -y things that that seems like a good idea you know what i wouldn't mind getting i wouldn't mind getting a wireless system for refined how hard would it be to get a wireless dude because i'm tired of having to run back and forth i just am so if I wanted to add you, wireless transmitter, wireless crafting grid, and is that all I really need? Probably. I might need some range add-ons. Maybe, but that requires ender pearls, and I don't think I have a single ender pearl, so we'll probably be holding off. You know what? These things, this actually requires an ender pearl too, doesn't it? Yeah, I need two ender pearls to get these guys going. I don't have any ender pearls i don't have any ender pearls which is a bummer i should really let me try how am i for glowstone let me try if i can get lucky i might be able to make ender pearls happen today 
if I can get lucky. Because what I can do is this. You ready? You make endstone times 16. You go through the crusher. Right? And ender lily seeds come from sluicing with a diamond mesh, crushed endstone at 12% chance. So I should have a really good chance of getting ender lily seeds, no? So we've uh, we've sieved and sifted and done all the things, and what I wound up with was four ender lily seeds, some chorus plants, and some trigonium dust. Right? So easy peasy. Uh, in the interim there, while we were waiting, I also prepped myself a couple more endstone, because looking at the ender lily seeds, if I want to put these in a botany pot, I either have to place them on endstone, which makes it take longer to grow, or an ender pearl block, which is only just nine ender pearls, will make it a lot faster to grow. So I think the goal here should be let's get a bunch of ender seeds or, or uh, a lot of ender pearls and then we will swap out the dirt with stuff. So since we got four of these, I'm going to do that, right? So now it's going to take five minutes to grow because as a reminder, it's it's a three minute, 30 second growth rate, but on end stone, it adds a minute 45. So it's 515. It'll be minus a minute 45 once we get under pearl blocks. So then it'll go from 330 to like 145 and that'll be awesome sauce. Um, so you do that for me, my good friend, and I'm going to put away the extra ender lily seeds. And, uh, you know, time in a bottle is my, is my savior in this situation. Look how long it's been since my last segment, because <laughs> this is the way Dyer records. Things happen, and then all of a sudden, you know, half an hour has passed. Huzzah! An enderpearl. Nice. Yeah, when you get into the 64x multipliers is when things get really ridiculous. So part of me is like, I should just tick accelerate my way into nine enderpearls so we can convert this guy into, you know, a block form. Yeah, see, that just ate up all the time that I accumulated here. But if we can get nine ender pearls, then we can speed this up a little bit, and that would be cool. Boo! Time in a bottle wore off. It's not bad, but I'm going to be using a lot of time in a bottle time to get this going. The other thing I could do is just quickly get a couple ender pearls to make my wireless transmitter stuff go back to blood magic and circle back to this later and replace it after like a natural period of time has produced ender pearls for me. That's another option. It's a valid one. It's a very, very valid one. But we're also like super close to having the nine here. But once we have the nine, also, it's only a 75% chance of getting an ender pearl. So, yeah, we just had a growth that didn't lead to an ender pearl, which is a bummer. So maybe I'll just use these two to get my wireless doohickeys going, right? Um, just so I can get away from the whole mess that is this system. That should be fine. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just let's just make 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 you know the wireless system, and then we'll go back to blood magic for a little bit. And after like an episode or two, we should have a couple dozen pearls, and we should be ready to replace all that stuff. Is that fair? I feel like that's fair. All right, wireless transmitter is a go. We're also gonna want our wireless crafting grid, which is gonna be a crafting grid, which is gonna be all these things, which is gonna be one of you. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. I'm going to want two of these, it looks like. So let's get them a cooking while I craft the rest of this stuff. Nice. We should get auto crafting cooking at some point too, but, you know, we'll get there. And then you can get charged up, my little friend. Zoop. And I want to make sure controls 
Refine storage tab, open wireless grid. Open wireless crafting terminal. That's what I want, this one, tab. Tab is what I like to do. Key tab, list players. I don't need to list players because I'm the only player. Network not found, yes, correct, that is true. Uh, because I don't really have, I don't think I even, have I ever made cables? I may not have. I may not have made cables, we'll find out I guess. I think you have to go on a cable, don't you? Actually, I don't know if you need to go on a cable or not. You might be able to go on the bottom of the, uh, or the side of the controller. It's very possible. We'll find out, I guess. We're gonna see how long. Now, I think I have to like bind you or something. I shift click you, right? Yes, beautiful, beautiful. We'll see how long, we'll see how long we can get away without using cables. Deal? I think that'll be just a, a funny little... How long can we uh, get away without using cables? We're gonna find out, right? Now, a range upgrade might not be a terrible idea. Oof, three ender pearls for a range upgrade. So can you reach over to here? Yes. Can you reach over to here? No. So give me those three ender pearls. Gonna regret this. Oh good, you have one of those. Cool. Uh, so range upgrade will be you. Oh, we're gonna need more of this. Just get a bunch. So upgrade and then range upgrade. That should be cool. That'll bump me up to 24 blocks. Not quite as big of a range as I would have wanted, but is it enough? Oh, it's so close. You know what I might do is I might put cables under here. Let's do that. Let's get some cables because our deal is that... So this didn't last long, did it? We're going to see how long we can do no cables. Well, the answer is not very long. Uh, let's do this. Let's move you guys. So... Universal cables, please. I want to have you. Are you in wrench mode? You are. Cool, cool, cool. What I'm going to do is reroute you. Try not to die or wire too hard. Perfect. I'm just gonna get my shovel. This way I can kind of center the radius on my island. And I think that would be cool. Let's put you here. Perfect. Now the cabling for this can go right about here. Not exactly how I wanted that to go. And then the one range upgrade I have for now will hold me over. Cool. So then you guys all go away and that looks good. And now, this thing should reach over to my altar, at least. Huzzah! Victory is mine. Cool? Cool. All right. So now it's a lot easier for me to, to juggle this, this stuff. All right. So we've got you, Blood Altar, ready to go. Um, let's see what quests I've... Oh, I got a wireless crafting terminal quest. Huzzah. Um, that's it. Mob Crusher. I already have one of those. Boo! So let's get ready to upgrade our blood altar to tier three, because I think we should prioritize that, right? We're gonna need a bit of red of uh, glowstone though, and I just used all my glowstone to get endstone, so that was a thing. But yes, in order to get, we're gonna need a few glowstone blocks, and I don't think we quite have the glowstone we need. No, uh, how are we for redstone? Meh. 
because I need netherrack in order to get glowstone. Unless I got glowstone seeds, we could probably do that. Uh, mystical agriculture. I'm going to convert you to tertiary because I'm pretty sure glowstone seeds are tertium. Yes, yes. So give me a prosperity. Give me wheat seeds. Get me one of these. Glowstone times four. Tertium times four. And let me redo this setup somewhere else. Where should we build that at? Should we expand it? Maybe we'll expand it in that direction. I like that plan. Um, now I have to break the habit of running over to my terminal all the time. Because that is a habit that I'm now in. Right? We have to break that habit. Because for the longest time, I've been in that habit. That'll do. So let's rebuild this structure. Right about here-ish. Cool. And then you're gonna go there. And this will be a lot easier than burning my redstone to make netherrack that we then have to sieve with a 14% chance of getting glowstone. Right? Right? Glowstone seeds. Now that's tier three, right? So let's do this. Let's get you and you. Perfect. Now these things are a lot faster than these things currently because there's no growth accelerators underneath them. Okay, so keep that in mind. I should really do something about the fertilized essence because I don't have a drawer for that. Maybe I could make one real quick. Hey, you should be JEI synchronized two-way. Thank you. Okay. Everybody's locked, looking good. Cool beans. What I would like to say, though, is you, you, and you. We're going to have to manage that thing a little bit better than we have been, but we'll get there. That way, at least, it locks what goes in where. Cool. Uh, now, for glowstone seeds, should I replace one of these guys? Like, I'm thinking maybe I don't need dye seeds no more. And we'll put glowstone in there. But you're going to need tertium essence, right? Uh, you know what? What are you? Your tertium farmland. Your silicon crops. I still want silicon, but silicon's a tier 2 seed, isn't it? It is. So I could swap these guys, right? My dye essence can go away. My silicon will just shift over to here. And then you'll be a glowstone buddy for me. Cool. I like it. And that'll be glowstony. Okay, back in a sec. So we're gonna need 20 runes uh, in order to get this guy upgraded to tier three, right? So I'm going to start working on that now. Uh, what this means for me is a lot of off-camera work that involves uh, eating and self-sacrifice and all that stuff. Now, I might want to get a tier two rune or two. Is the sacrifice rune... That's just one reinforced slate. That's kind of cool. I always forget, though, because, like, the tier two altar, only two, 
four of the eight here can be upgraded. Once it's tier three, all eight can be. And I always forget if it's the sides or the corners that you're allowed to upgrade. Which is just a little bit of an oof on my part. But if we could get them upgraded now, that would probably make this a little bit faster. For me, who's doing it off camera? You guys aren't going to see it. So I'll be back um, in a few moments here. What I might do is take accelerate. Well, I, don't, I hate to waste the tick accelerate, but a little bit of it can't go too awry. There you go. I'm going to look that up. You think, I wonder if it tells me in the book. Um, the runes in the Cardinals can be upgraded, but the Corner runes cannot and act as upgrade runes until Tier 3. So it's the sides that can be upgraded. Nice. I like I like that. It shows me that. Thank you, book. Thank you, book. Where's my food? There they are. Cool. So that should allow me to get the sacrifice runes in the sides, right? With the fourth one there. Let's go, buddy. So now if we want sacrifice runes, and I can get rid of these things for a minute. But all we need is blank runes. So I'm going to break four of these, upgrade them, and be good to go. Put you in there. Put some of you in here in case there's not any. Oh, right, because I already had one. Oh, my manual and pickaxe is broken. That's a shame. We're going to need a new pickaxe here. Because I don't have any manual in, or any way to make it. So as nice as it's been having a manual in pick, you know. Do I have anything better? I have a manual in pickaxe head. Do you think I can use that to repair it? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. I bet I could, like, melt it down or something, something. I don't have, like, any Tinker's melty stuff set up yet, though. Yeah, I don't think I can use that. I could probably use it to make a new pickaxe, but I'll just go back to using my stone one for the time being. And we should really get into a Tinker's setup. I've avoided doing that thus far, but I shouldn't avoid it anymore. You know what I mean? I should just get her done. Okay, so you're going to do this. You're going to give me four of them. Oh, these are runes of sacrifice. I want self-sacrifice runes, don't I? Don't! That's right. I totally did the wrong ones. You guys probably saw that too. And we're like, dire no! Self-sacrifice is what I want. Needs a little glowstone, actually. Well, it's not that big of a... Derp. I mean, we're going to eventually want these. Can I use these to, like, no. We'll eventually want them. Off camera, going to fix that mistake. Be right back. All right, so quick little experiment just to make sure that this is working the way I think it will. Once this is crafted, uh, I'm going to drain all the LP from the altar with my orb so that we can see how much LP we get from a single sacrificial daggery thing, right? You're all charged up and ready to go. Okay, so this time, self-sacrifice runes. Self-sacrifice runes. You know what? I might need more runes. I probably need more runes. Uh, let's get some tier 1 runes real quick. Uh, that, those should be easy to get. Easy peasy. And then orb go in there. Drain out. You get ready to recharge me. Okay. So let's get some more tier 1 runes. Okay. 
One, two, three. Actually, there's some here. Did I make them already? I might have already made them. I wasn't paying attention. All right, a little bit more glowstone. Have you made enough? You've made exactly enough. Good job, glowstone plant. You win the day. Let's do this. Just to prevent me accidentally. Cool, so that'll give me these back. Wow, this thing barely reaches down here. But it reaches nonetheless. This way, if it falls into the water, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Oh, right. I wanted to test this real quick. I wanted to test this real quick just to see how much LP we get from one... One dude. Do we have more runes in here? We have a few more runes in here. Can I make another rune? I'll just do this one then. Because it doesn't matter. Alright, real quick test. And I want you to be ready. So with 0 LP in there, we do this. And we get 2880. Okay? 2880 is the number to beat. You know Dyer. He likes to get technical and just, you know, understand just how much of a good thing we did. At this point, I would have had 20 runes, right? But it's also dire. 2880, and where's my orb? To drain it out. Cool. And it doesn't hurt to, you know, fill it up a little bit for me. So 2880, you're fully charged and ready to go. That's the number to beat. Come on, buddy. Burning daylight here. Or not. Empty. Cool. All right. So now I've got... See, I told you I'm burning daylight. We're running out of time. Four sacrifice... Self-sacrifice runes. Becomes... 4032. It's a pretty big improvement if you think about it. That is not... That is not a small upgrade. You know? That's close to 50% bump. So, I'm going to off-camera get 20 more blank runes. So that means I'm going to need a little bit more stone. Which means I should probably go smelt up some more cobble into smooth stone. Even though it's not called smooth stone no more. Thank you, Mojang. So what do we got by way of runes in here? We got the four runes of sacrifice, which I could use. Technically, I need 17 more. So, let's see. Where are we at in recording time here? So what I'm going to say is it's wrapping up point, because it basically is. Uh, so we'll come back. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? Oh, cool. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. And I'm not going to complain about it. So we're going to wrap up the episode here. I'll come back next time. We'll build out the tier three altar. Okay. And then once that's good to go, uh, we can uh, check out some growth acceleration stuff continue along you know the whole path once we get into tier three and four with blood magic you get some really powerful automation that we can do so we're probably going to want to automate the blood altar we're probably going to want to um get some rituals going some growth rituals i'm looking at you mystical agriculture uh and then all kinds of cool stuff and i want to get back to exploring some of the stuff in this world i think an air sigil might go a long way towards exploration though we probably still want to have a boat so we'll see. We'll figure that out as time goes by. But for now, it's wrapping up point. So Donald 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.